What's Welcome! Up? Music! Wait, why'd you turn the music off? That's the whole point of today. Turn it up. Turn it up, but I can't turn oh, it up. Oh, we have amazing music on this stream. If I do say so myself, it's actually all him. But the music selections that we choose, you guys are always like, how do I get music? What do I have to do to not d get deleted? My video gets deleted when I put music on my stream. That's because you're probably playing copyrighted music. We want you to have the right music for your live stream so you can jam, you can have fun, you can create a great environment for your for your videos, and we want you to have great selection because, I mean, sometimes... You can have stuff like this. Down in the <laughs> Music is a big part of our streams when we're here in the studio and when we're out and about doing uh, actual Mobile Mondays, right? Mm -hmm. So as we put together our upcoming Mobile Mondays series uh, where we are out and we're experiencing life and we're doing interviews with cool people and we're taking you on journeys, uh, we are actually building up to that. Uh, so this is, this is one part of it. So we wanted to kind of show you over the next couple of weeks uh, different pieces of the puzzle that we're building out for our mobile IRL streams. And of course, uh, the music is a big part of that experience when we're out and about, but it's also a big part of our studio experience in just different ways, right? And so we wanted to kind of have that conversation with you and also give you an amazing tool service that we use, that we love, um, and they've given us a three, 30 day free trial to give to you, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is, if you're on Facebook, type music to get that. Uh, if you're on YouTube, the link is in the description or anybody who wants can use the QR code that we talked about last week. <laughs> Sounds a bit muffled. Muffled? Sound seems a bit muffled. What sound? The, the whole sound? Everything? <laughs> Hi, Steven. While you work on that, he actually set up a new audio setup, so I wonder if it's something to do with that. Uh, starting the stream off with a rockin' start, Kevin said. Exactly. <laughs> Outstanding use of the QR code, Kenna says. Yes, if you click the QR code, just when we talk, it's only muffled when we talk. Oh, ticker. Ticker. Hi, Abs. Abby says hi. Hi, so are Abs. We gonna, um, are we going to hit the intro or no? All right, I'm not understanding the word muffled. Why don't you mute us for a second? I'll play this for you. Okay. We're talking. Hold on, we're testing audio. Uh, I don't know what you guys mean by muffled. The music sounds muffled? <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. It doesn't sound muffled to us. Like, I just listened oh, to it. Oh, it sounds like we're recording in the room rather than direct. Huh. It's not sounding that way to us on our end when we're listening to the stream. Yeah. It's not crisp. It's lacking clarity at the top end. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, audio sounds fine after the intro. That's what we were listening to. Anyway, I think we're going to keep going. Cause Sounds a bit like you're talking into a bucket. There, Well, there is a bit of a different audio setup today. Uh, David implemented a new um, device into the setup. Yeah, I put a new I'm, I put a new thing into the setup that I'm testing, which is this thing. Oops, that's not the right. It's not it at all. Uh, the Roland, this thing right here. Ooh. The Roland uh, VR 4HD. I'm testing that, and so I changed the audio source um, to be this the the Roland. So. Okay, um, well, they're saying it's not horrible or unbearable. It's just not our usual standard. And I got a new camera. This camera right here. This Hi. is the Canon M50. Woo! So those of you that um, have been wondering, hey, can the 
do, do, do. can the Canon M50 stream? <laughs> yes. What? Yes, the Canon M50 can stream now <laughs> with some uh, different settings that I got. So I'll He's be sharing. Be... I'll be doing a video on that soon. Yes. So. All right. So there are a couple of things that you know we have going on uh, coming up, um, and you know we we just get so many questions about music, right? And so we thought we'd do a sh topic on that and really discuss the possibilities for both your studio streams as well as what David is working on for our upcoming live uh, IRLs as well. So. Uh, Anyway, uh, music and live video. The big, the big, big, big problem with music and live video, it's actually probably our most popular video we've ever done, uh, which is copyright streams on, or copyrighted music on Facebook. Like we have a video that we did like three or four years ago that is probably the most popular one we've ever done uh, just because it gets so much traction via Google. Mm -hmm. um, and it's because so many people have so many issues with it. I need to do an updated version of this, which we will do. Um, and now that we have, you know, something to give you, something to help you out with this solution. So we've been using Epidemic Sound for quite a while now, uh, and they have just an amazing music selection. Now, the thing is, is you can't just play any old music that you want, right? You can't just decide to play the latest uh, Harry, Katy Perry song. Why did I choose Katy Perry? <laughs> Why is that when the one came to my brain? I have no idea. <laughs> um, does Scott know your name's not Callie? Does he what? not? Does Scott? Does Scott oh. not know that your name's not Kelly? <laughs> Hi, brother Scott. Actually, I think Scott came um, back After? into the fold uh, just a couple days ago. So you may not know that I'm going by my real name now. After ten years of going by Kelly, I am now me, like me. Hi. <laughs> oh, he knows. Oh, okay. Okay. Some people just call me Kelly. Yeah. That's... Some people still call me Kelly. It's all right. I was I just wondering mind. if maybe he wasn't in the in, in the, the know. Loop. All right. In the loop. So, uh, yes, uh, and we've been talking. Do I need to, did I need to like re, re say all of that or did they hear me? I don't know. I don't know what they heard or didn't hear. This is what I wanted to test today before we, before we went live, but you um, were on your interview and that's why I wanted to come down here early. Oh, so, so it's my fault. We have garbage. We have bad well, audio today. Well, it's not and that's your what I'm fault. Hearing. That's what I'm hearing you say right now. Yeah. <laughs> It's authentic, Gloria, yes. Hi. About time, Scott says. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, so you heard me with the whole setup of, like, why music or is an issue. Because, you know, all of the Facebook and YouTube, um, they, have, they have algorithms that scan all of their videos, live videos too, uh, that actually will hear copyrighted music and delete your video or mute it or give you a strike something like some different things happen uh different in, in different scenarios and different platforms but you will get you will have issues if you play just the latest whatever song that you want to to, to play or an old beatles song or whatever so that's why it's very very important that you have a library of music that is that is royalty free essentially you've paid for a license a monthly fee that allows you to download and use all the music that you want it's a select library now different services are out there we've tried them all and our favorite is epidemic sound so david went to work to create to get a deal with them uh so that we could offer you a 30 freaking day trial free day trap 30 <laughs> you get a 30 day trial 30 day free trial uh for epidemic sound if you want you can click this uh, go to this qr code right here oh or go to create dot link we don't have a link to show you um you can put it in the comments <laughs> yeah hey on, hey dave <laughs> does dave know the link i didn't did you it share it with him is he I pretty no dave hasn't been privy to this. Here you go. Dave, I just sent that to you in uh, Workplace. So you put that on all of the descriptions. 
Uh, or you can use the QR code. Yeah, so Mike, yeah, you can do that, but the music just isn't as good. Like, you don't get, like, right. the music that That's we true. get is lyrical and, and just is a better source of music. Yeah, if you don't can't afford it, can't afford 15 bucks a month, totally fine. You can find free sources of music. The mm -hmm. only thing is, you got to be careful because if you take the music from YouTube and you play it over on Facebook, you could get flagged. Or if you take the music from Facebook and play it on YouTube, you can get flagged. So it's better to have one where you get it to, to use yeah. it everywhere that you go live. That's the problem. It's nice when the music is danceable. Ah, uh, no! <laughs> and this is let's, good music. Let's explain what danceable music is. That It's only water, it's either sick or swim Can't hold back your light and expect to win Gotta go harder, oh you've gotta learn Don't suppress your fire, baby, let it burn Be who you are Nobody can take that away from you We know like, there's no mic We know, he takes the audio off when, when we I play, play music When I play the music, I turn the audio off you guys are a really <laughs> tough crowd today. Wow, Man. you're judgmental. Wow. <laughs> oh, boy. If you're new around here. If you're new around welcome here. Welcome to the mess. No, uh, <laughs> we love our audience and we love our community because they look out for us and they know the quality that we typically provide. Yep. And they're like, hey, and today's one, not up to snuff, guys. I'm the one that always throws the wrench into the, <laughs> I throw the wrench into the plans all the time. Yes, but that's what we got to yes, do. I got to test new stuff. And somebody said that, oh, slow, hold that on. I have a habit of. Slow gamer go, slow oh, go gamer, welcome. That is too bad. So, <laughs> you we are, love D. You are in big trouble. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Welcome. <laughs> Sorry, what were you even saying? I totally, uh, I interrupted uh, I, you. I was just time. saying like, and and I did not, somebody said I I have a uh, gear buying habit or whatever. I didn't buy this Roland, just so uh, you guys know. Ah, yes. Um, so. We get a lot of stuff for free around here too. Yeah. Because we like to show it off and we like to show you what you can do. So there will be a video about that soon too, right? What's that? About the Roland. Huh? There yeah, will be maybe. a video about it. Maybe, yeah. At some point. <laughs> so many videos we gotta do. Oh my god, we have a list of videos that you guys are requesting and we, we've gotta get, get to it. You guys are fine. At least we're well, fine. thank you. I feel like that's kind of saying, like, you're meh. Yeah, thank you, Gio. Meh. We appreciate that. <laughs> we love you, Gio. Thank this you. audio <laughs> setup seems to definitely affect the music more. So. <laughs> oh, does it? Yeah, somehow. Okay, interesting. We're here to make you better. <laughs> nice. That is good. Hey, what? That's an upside down smiley face. Yeah, it's a thing. I did not know that was a thing. So you can... <laughs> Stop taking away my comments. Well, don't change them while they're out. <laughs> so can you download the music during the free trial and keep using it afterwards? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, so so you can use it while you're use, using the trial, but as soon as your trial's up, no. You have to. So here's the thing. When you go in, they'll probably limit your downloads because if people did that, what they could do in the 30-day trials, go do download a ton of music. But if any of the music that you use in a video or during your trial, you should be fine on, but not just downloading and then uploading a video. You have to actively have put it on your channel uh, because while your channel is white labeled, then if any new music shows up after your trial, that's gonna get flagged. So you're not gonna be able to just go in there and download a bunch of free music. And don't try and do that. That's pretty, that's not really cool to do anyway, uh, to go in and try to download a ton of music um, no. while you're in your free trial. Uh, just trying to circumvent the system because that the thing is like they're they're helping us and and they pay these artists these are real artists that go to epidemic sounds recording studio and they record this music specifically for them so it's really good really really um uh i don't know it's like really well put together music uh -huh. and so like, we they have literally... to they have to be able to pay those artists and the yeah. more people that try to not to circumvent that the then, more problems in general you'll cause. Yeah, yeah. and I'm not saying you were going to do no, that. No, no, no. Um, He's, that's just a rant, a ge um, general yeah, rant. That was... Uh, uh, that was uh, wasn't that uh, gospel? Gospel. Okay. I'm not saying you would do that gospel. I'm just saying um, we don't want people to do that. 
Now, like we, I don't know if you said this, but we actually download, like we use this stuff just for our daily live or our daily lives. Like we'll listen and jam to this music on Epidemic Sound just in general. Like it's, it's on par or even better than some of the other music that we listen to in Spotify. So love, love, love this service. So that's why we did this partnership. We love it. It's <laughs> love so it. good. Love, love. Love, love, love. It's love, 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 all caps. Oh. Just so you know, just so you can visualize it. That's how it's actually written out. Um, <laughs> so we have some questions coming through. Timo wants to know on Facebook, I've seen some people going live and just adding a line of text in the description saying something like, I don't have the right to view these music why is are they doing that so there are some services that you can use music from as long as you um, say who the artist is but the thing is I'm telling you those services once that person like if that person ever happens to um, you know get signed or something like that and then that record label is gonna come after you or whatever I would never do that I would never do that use a service that gives you a license. They give you a, a physical license that you have while you're under contract with them by the month where you can use their music and you're not ever gonna get flagged because Epidemic Sound owns that music. They own the rights. The problem is that you can get, like using the free services like Audio Jungle and stuff like that, those songs get flagged all the time. So Audio Jungle is not really royalty free. So don't be buying music from that. Uh, and don't be trying to find free sources because that's going to happen. You're going to end up getting songs flagged. And when a song gets flagged, it's not a bad thing for your channel. You're not getting a strike. You're not really in trouble. But what happens is the person who flagged that content gets the money for your video. And if you're only using a small video for your intro, it doesn't matter. They get the, the money for the whole video. So any compensation you make in, in Google AdWords, they get. So you don't want to put yourself in that situation. So it's better to just take precautions and, and do what you have to do. There's another service called Pretzel that you can use if you're using like Streamlabs OBS that does the same thing. They have royalty free music. Uh, they actually have a button you can click for YouTube safe music. So. Okay. So if you guys want access to this, don't forget you can type music in the comments on Facebook. Uh, you can click the QR code, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, or if you're watching on YouTube, <laughs> you can uh, click the link in the description that will take you to our link that gives you a 30 day free trial. I got it out this time. Can I get a song and a clap? I was getting disappointed there for a second because every time we come back to the music, it's like on a slow down beat, right? I'm like, ah, this is not a good example. Okay, uh, so we had a question. Let me ask, answer gospel really quick. Gospel, yes, after the 30 day trial, any song that you use in a video is still good. Yeah. So that's how it works also. If you if you buy the monthly fee, you put up videos that um, uh, while you're paying, then after you cancel, you cannot upload new videos with any of their music. Even if it's a song you've already used, you're not licensing the song. You, well, you are, but it's the song with that video. So it's tied with that video. You upload the very same song again from that video after your license has expired and you will get flagged. Um, the license fee is only covered oh. while you're paying rights as soon as you unsubscribe that, your license. That was ends. the answer that you were giving. Yes. Your license ends on future videos, not for, it doesn't go back and cancel all the ones that you had. Yes. Uh, and construction says on YouTube, the sound quality of Epidemic is really good. It is. Yes. It is. So, so good. And it, the cool thing is you can actually go um, and see the artist recording the videos uh, from their studios. Epidemic has a, Epidemic Sound has a studio in, I think it's Sweden or Switzerland, one of the two. I think, I can't remember if they're a Swiss company. I think they're Swiss. But anyway, they got a really nice recording studio. They've flown artists and stuff out there. Uh, and uh, they did like a highlight and introduced some of the artists and everything. It's pretty cool. Like they have, a, it's like a full on recording studio where they're going in and they're recording music. These people are writing this music. We, we actually have some of these songs that have moved over to our actual playlist in our house because we like them so much. I will come down mm -hmm. here and work and you can ask her and I'll just play these playlists while I'm working. I love the music. Uh, yes, you're, you're, you're getting the use of it, not the song itself. Right. You're getting the, the use that. during yeah. that period, Correct. during the period that you're paying. 
Uh, I don't know what this is. What is a David moment exactly, Andy? Where you bit my arm, maybe? Oh. <laughs> or that time I bit your finger? He literally she bit my that. finger she on camera. She did the thing where she was doing this, and I went to like just tease and bite her, and I bit her <laughs> finger. I like nabbed right onto it. And that hurt for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Paul Dixon would not approve of the QR code being in between us, so we will not do that to him. Um, no, Paul would not like that. But oh, what I can oh. do. Oh. Genealogy says the new camera, the M50, looks better than the main camera. Just saying. The color science on this M50 is it good. It is gorgeous. Yeah, nice. it is. I, but I, then when you quit switch to no, it, actually. No, you know why? Tough audience. Because it's you on just the, use the hashtag tough audience. It's on the, it's on the desk. If we don't touch the desk... I have to mount it to this post. Yeah, you're gonna have but to. But I did that so that it could go up and down with the desk. Oh. In case we want to switch. We switch never, with the desk. we never move the desk though, even though we can. Um, never forget the drone crash. Right. Ah, uh, no. He not only bit my finger. <laughs> if you want a 30-day free trial, this is what you do. Click my face. <laughs> okay. Well, there's that. <laughs> Always feed David before a show so he doesn't bite anyone. <laughs> now, I was going to say, like, the drone thing. He not only bit my finger on accident, he also ran a drone into me and cut my finger open. Boy, I've had a lot of accidents around you. You have. I'm starting to wonder. You have. <laughs> Is this, like, on purpose? Or, David, get that out of my face. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we bought what, Jaya? The M50? Or what are, you, what are you asking? What's happening, John? How are you? Good to see you here. Looks like you just graduated. Congratulations. That's not graduation. That's not? No. It's got a, a cap. It's That's holding a, a diploma, too. Yeah. Oh, it's a lay. It's Must a, be a Florida graduation. Florida? I mean, Hawaii. <laughs> I meant Hawaii. <laughs> I'm not sure why I said Florida. <laughs> okay, scan the code. Right now, scan the code. Get Whoever your phone can scan out. the code gets a 30-day free trial at Epidemic Sound. Come on, go. Go, 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 go. Good luck with that. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gospel says, I do have license for music I use. I tend to not go for trials because I always think the replay being flagged. Oh, so no, you won't have to worry about that. Uh, yeah, I remember the drone accident. Tech for Needs says, uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. yeah. That's, <laughs> that's how we can do giveaways. <laughs> So, um, yeah, we're very excited about this because we, you, you guys always ask us for like, what music? Like, I, I don't think there's been a more asked question other than, other than this question, uh, that question, what streaming software are we using? But there's been no other more asked question than what music are you, what, what is that? What's that music? We Can I get Phoenix. a downloaded playlist? All of that thing. So that's why we put to get today's, uh, um, we use VMix. Offer for you. VMix software. Oh my God, guys. I swear my brain is so scatterbrained today. <laughs> I was doing an interview. Today? With Naveed. No, today is like bad. I'm, I'm not scatterbrained <laughs> normally. I'm really on top of it. Yeah. But today I'm like so scatterbrained. I was in the kitchen and I went to the... I went to the kit, to the, to the fridge to pull things out and then put things back and I walked to the fridge to put something back and I didn't have it in my hands. <laughs> I had an interview with Naveed that's going out in August about list building through live video. And I was like, afterwards I had to apologize because I was like, I don't know if I said anything comprehensible right now. <laughs> you did. You know you did. Oh, I'm You're sure good. I did. I'm Where sure, do you find but... <laughs> videos on your freaking Facebook timeline? On your own profile? How the heck do you find your Why, videos? Why, yes, Mike. Mike, it is fantastic. VMix is fantastic. What are you looking for? My videos, like my, my own videos on my own Facebook profile from my phone, you cannot find them. Like your own videos from your profile. Oh, I don't know. Facebook is weird. What are you trying to do? I was gonna show. I was gonna show the drone video. 
Uh, construction, did you guys come from television broadcasting? Okay, so somebody else said uh, that I have that background, but it's it's not where I come from. I do have a uh, somewhat of a television broadcasting, like not in the way that you would think. So I started out as a, as one of the early uh, podcasters, which when it, podcasting meant video podcasting and audio. Now it just means audio. But um, I was one of the early uh, video creators before YouTube was really a thing. Um, and so then I had some TV opportunities out of that, out of building an audience myself online. Um, so I've done a lot in like multi-million dollar kind of productions in terms of hosting and stuff like that. We've together have had a lot of different types of experiences with big names like AT&T and putting on streaming productions for them. So we've had, we have a lot of different different levels of experience between the two of us. Um, so to okay. answer your question, so that was he, all to answer a question. Yes. You're, you're just like, good job. Can we, can we get back? To good this? job answering. Oh, that. Okay. The drone. So, so the we've got, oh, sorry, we've got the drone video here, but here you guys get to vote. So vote on sorry. whether you like video one or video two, which is the better video. Cause we did like a video contest. So here we go. So they, yeah, and is right. We did that so that it doesn't get flagged. What? No, no sound. We put no sound on that so it doesn't get flagged. No, because I use epidemic sound. I'm just joking. Because <laughs> everybody's like, should there be sound? Oh, yeah, there should have there should have been sound. Andy was assuming that it was so that it didn't get flagged. I was going with it. I was, oh, no, I, I think try. I think what I did was... Poor drone, Scott. What about my finger? Okay. Just, just for a test, you guys, I need your help testing. I'm gonna play this again and tell me if you got sound this time. That's what I was hoping. All right, so we have our vote. What was the vote? Number two. Number two? That no, was not cool. a single person said number one. But what's funny is on the internet, mine won. Oh, really? Yeah. This is on the internet. Well, no, on the official vote. Oh, there we go. Mike gave you a one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> number two. That's funny. Oh, man, what a pilot. <laughs> Well, at least we know where you stand on the internet's desire of... There you go, a couple ones. But Stuart, I think, knew that one was already yours. We had a couple of questions uh, about music since what that's what today is about. Uh, first of all, Jaya said, thank you for the free trial. Appreciate you working on our behalf. You are very welcome. You're welcome. Uh, if the video is without monetization, can we use copyrighted music? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't. No. I would not because the thing is like... You just don't, you don't want to do that. Like you're, you're putting yourself in a, in a really bad situation if you ever decide you do want to monetize. So I just, I just would never do that. Um, just because of the situation you're putting yourself into. And 
they could turn around and if you're not monetizing, they could strike you another way and, and actually send you a strike and three strikes and you lose your YouTube channel. Three so just don't out. take any chances. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so Zachary joined us late on Facebook. Uh, doesn't know if this question has been asked, but what if we need to play copyrighted music for like church service? What do we do as media technicians? Are you? Do you mean like outside of the stream, like in the church? Service itself, not on live video or video. We can't. Uh, well, maybe you can answer that question, but I don't know. Well, I mean, if you're if you're playing copyrighted music, like you know, church music or whatever, you don't. You're not above that that licensing system. You still have to get licenses for the music that you're playing. If you're uploading videos or you're doing uh, live streams, there's no special treatment for churches at all. So you just need to make sure that you're either not using licensed music, so no, no Christian artists or, or whatever. Uh, oh, so now, church live streams is what he's referring to. Right, I know. Yeah. But So you, there might be a service for, for Christian music specifically. I don't know if there is, but I would Google that and look, but you're gonna be, you're gonna be treated just like everybody yeah. else. Um, and if you're uploading commercial artist songs, so commercial Christian music or anything like that, you will also fall under that. Gio and Gio says, says for you church, you need CLC. CLC. Church something. CLC. Church license code. Mm, uh, I'm all, I'm, I'm coming up blank on, on that Google. So maybe you can tell us what that is, Gio. Uh, okay. Anyway, so we had uh, some other things. Um, what's and, the difference? And, and Brother Scott is saying church bands okay, but media nope. That's not necessarily true. I've seen um, channels be striked by church bands as well if they sound a lot right. like this, the right original artist. And, so. and that's an important distinction here. So when we go out and about and we're IRLing, which is where we take our pro gear and go out um, and walk around town and stuff, when we do that, we often encounter live bands. Uh, and so this co question comes up a lot. When it's live music and that it's a cover, let's say, and it doesn't sound exactly like the original, then it usually can get by and you're fine. If it's well, it's getting it's getting exactly. worse with that also. It's it's actually because like you you have musicians right now that are talking that are that are doing songs where they play covers or channels where they play covers. Those are starting to get striked now too, uh, mm. or or claimed a claim. So there's claims and there's strikes. If you get a claim, you're fine. You're not going to lose your channel. But if you get a strike, that's where it's bad. So uh, put Jeff's up comment back up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, you just put the comment out. Uh, what's the difference between the regular and business license? And he means on Epidemic Sound specifically, since you guys are getting a 30-day free trial, he's just trying to make sure he's signed up for the right thing. So business license is where you're doing videos for clients. So it's a big difference. Ah. Um, uh, so, yeah. So you just can do the personal license. Yeah. Unless you're in some client-based business that I'm not aware of that you're doing music for. Um, do churches have to pay royalty for live playing music, hymns and such? So hymns, Same, hymns fall mean, under the public domain, so you're not going to get flagged for hymns. Um, but I think that what you could get flagged for if you're doing, like if a band's doing a version of one. Now, I don't even know if a commercial Christian artist redoes a hymn, if at that point it becomes like re copyrighted if you do it in oh, their style. That's a, that's a good so point. Yeah. I, I don't know, I, but I do know that traditional hymns fall under the public domain, just like happy birthday uh, and stuff like that. You're not gonna get anything, but you do have to look into it if there's been a remake and you're specifically copying that remake or whatever. But if you're just pipe organ in it and piano in it with the old school hymns, you're probably gonna be fine. That's uh, Zachary, our church Facebook lived a funeral that included music and Facebook oh, no, closed that was it down. Am talking to Zachary, yeah. but yeah, three times. That's crazy. Wow, <laughs> that's unfortunate, yeah. but it happens. Uh, and yeah, j just going back to the whole, uh, you know, can the question that came up earlier? Can I uh, do? you know, music on if I'm not monetizing my streams, Jason had replied to that. It's still illegal monetized or not. So yep. always, always, always remember and that this is not just Facebook or YouTube's rules. These are legal rules that Facebook and YouTube are, you know, uh, implementing. Uh, and the thing is, like, even if, let's say you don't monetize your videos, they can still mute your audio. The audio where the music is playing, yeah. they can mute your audio and you'll have no audio in your in your video. So don't do it. 
Everybody Gospel says in the 30-day trial, you are welcome, Gospel, and everybody else. If you haven't gotten your 30-day free trial from Epidemic Sound, you can click the QR code. <laughs> um, or you can, if you're on YouTube, you can just click the link in the description. If you're on Facebook, you can just type in the comments. You can just say, music. And guess what? We're going to send you a music. link. Music. A link for music. Believe that? <laughs> music. <laughs> Um, Nobby is asking, doesn't the Vatican hold licenses over hymns? No, those are in the public domain. Yeah. And, uh, and just be the, all, all church music didn't come from the Catholics. Just so you know, a lot of, the, <laughs> a lot of those hymns, uh, the Catholics have nothing to do with, especially your Southern Baptist and all that, those hymns and stuff, those old hymns, the Vatican probably does own rights to some stuff, but I think that's more your soul. <laughs> Regardless of church, church or not, or you need to pay for performance or the uh, for the writer, which you should. I mean, you, you know. should. Like, here's let's just let's talk about this in general. Everybody who's creating content online should get in the habit and the mental state of paying people for the work that they're doing. Business in general, like if you're gonna try and get a logo created, pay for the work. Like, don't try and get things for free. I understand that there's a lot of cost involved. Believe me. I understand how much cost is involved in all of the different things that you need. Take it one step at a time, but we shouldn't be trying to take advantage of people creating things for us, right? Uh, well, and this think is about a- it from your perspective. If you are good at something and you're offering something to somebody else, are you going to want them to try and nickel and dime you down to nothing? I, I just, it's a passion piece of mind because it's so horrible the way we treat uh music creators and then uh you know people who create who are designers and from all of the different perspectives we should be paying people for their work well and not to, and, and i'm not no offense to any christians out there because we're not i'm generalizing here really quick but the, the it really irritates me because a lot of times we get churches that send us messages on facebook saying hey can we get your courses and training for free because we're a church and the thing is it doesn't matter if you're a church. Churches generally make more make more money in donations. And if it's something that you want, take up a donation from your congregation to get the things you need. But it really yeah. frustrates me that churches feel like they should be given things that these that the artists like kind of that nonprofit the, in general. That the art well Well, I guess either, that's but not <laughs> that the artists don't still deserve their money, that we still don't deserve to be compensated for the hard work that we've put into our mm-hmm. courses and stuff. And it's just kind of frustrating for that to happen. Yeah. Because you, you really have to run your church like a business if you're going to, uh, you know, yeah. do it the right way. So You should be running everything you do like a business. Pulu Mix. We are using vMix for streaming. Uh, the best streaming software out there on the market, in my humble opinion. <laughs> there you go. I agree with you, David. <laughs> Feed Paul. I don't know which party. What's he agree with? Which, with that rant. Oh, with, with the, the rant. rant. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Feed Paul. Yes, exactly. Feed Paul. Feed exactly. Paul. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Gio is, oh, no wonder you know so much. Uh, Thank you, I'm Gio. a pastor and I agree with you. Fantastic. I love I, I love that because and it, that's what I'm saying, hap- I, it happens a lot to us and it happens a lot to our, all of our friends who are creating stuff online as well. And that's what I'm saying. I didn't mean to offend like they're, right. because I know not every church is like that, but it's like, it's really, that's really the only people we get contacting us on our Facebook page asking for free stuff all the time. And it's just kind of... You know, it's just kind of frustrating. I'm not sure what a bugbear is, Jason. Oh, man, that's such a bugbear of mine. He must be either like Irish or something. That's not a bugbear is not an English term. I'm going to try and every time you pull push a comment out, I'm, I mean, pull a comment, I'm going to try and push one. Totally agree, David. Nothing personal, just business. Boom. Pirating is stealing. That is so true. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> and what camera are we using? Well, you mean that that one or this one? This one? Which one? Which one do you want to know? Because we're using well, two. Why don't you tell them both? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This <laughs> is the Blackmagic Ultra HD uh, studio camera, and this is the Canon M50 uh, from Canon. Oh, okay. A bugbear is an annoyance, apparently. Oh. Thank you for translating that, Andy. Uh, but to go on, Jason said, I run a business especially for charities, and I have so many of them coming to me asking for my service for free because they are a charity, yet they pay themselves salary 10 times my own. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we see that a lot. Uh, Geo said, not offending. Um, oh, and Gospel said, one of my pet peeves, churches wanting free stuff. People got to eat. They do. Yeah. 
I mean, we we all have to eat. And exactly, and that's the thing. Like, I we we are very <laughs> charitable people. I mean, we we have we have come across customers that have legitimate hardships. Uh, and we kind of like talk about it internally. And there's been people that we've just given our stuff to because they were in legitimate hardships, uh, but still were willing to do the work. And so that's completely different. It's a it's a individual thing. You know, we we have compassion, but I just feel like that's you know if you if that is your approach, if you l- learn something today, if you are a church <laughs> and you're struggling, you don't have any money, don't go ask people to give you things for free. Take up the donation plate or go door to door or whatever you got to do to raise the funds to pay for the services for the people that are creating the things. Rant done. <laughs> True dot on Facebook. I like how the YouTube and Facebook are now talking to each other. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> okay. So, uh, which, hold on. Jeff says M50 looks great. It does. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff is actually the reason. So, I... I knew that I could stream with this on with using USB, but I had no idea that um, it could look like this and that it actually bypassed all the features. Like I can, there's so much I can do with this. I can adjust the ISO and all that stuff and it looks great. So thanks to Jeff for pointing me in the right direction. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing a video to show you exactly how I set this up very soon, but look how good it looks. Mike Phillips just got an M50, congratulations. Nice. Uh, so I might actually put one up here too and use it as the well, main camera. I mean, yeah. look how good that looks. I mean, it looks, yeah, it looks really good. I, I, I'll take that camera and do on my set, create a set, and then you can have that one here. Well, we need to get a second one. Why? <laughs> we got it because I'm, I got this specifically. I put this here to use for gaming. But it's so pretty. I know it's pretty. <laughs> but it should look the same. So we should just get a second Canon M50. You know, uh, with all that. Cash the churches are sending us. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, so we have some other wait, questions. Wait, what is Tom? Hold on. David, that movie was very disappointed. Come on, what movie? Oh, this this is not the solo movie. Oh, just so you know, this is live view solo, solo streaming. streaming. So this is the live streaming T-shirt. It's a streaming story. Yeah, it's the a, live it's view It's a funny solo. take on it because solo the solo is the piece of gear that we take on our mobile streams for our IRL. So, uh, so Pulu also wanted to ask, are you using a lapel mic or a boom mic? We're not just using one boom mic. We're using two. Bam. So we got one right here. Bump, bump. And right here. Bump, bump. bump just bump. out of shot. <laughs> did you uh, like how he did that? Bump, bump. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, M50 better than the Sony FDR-X3000. Totally different use cases. Ah, because the, the yes. Sony FDR-X3000 is an action camera. It's a very wide angle where this, this, is I can adjust the, well, I got a wide angle lens on there, but I can adjust that shallow depth. See how blurry I can make the background? Um, Because I Because it's got interchangeable lenses. You lose the interchangeable lenses on the Sony FDR-X3000. The Sony FDR-X3000 is more for the IRL. Um, You could use it to sit on a cam, on your TV or something as a webcam, but it's gonna be a very wide field of view. So the (laughs) M50 is a lot better as a studio camera where the uh, FDR is like vlogging or stuff like that. Oh, so cool. Pro uh, Business Support says, thank you for all you guys have put out, built a dream for home studio. Uh, Just found you a couple weeks ago. Nice. Amazing, thank you so much for being here. Welcome. You wanna come back to the main camera? Uh, Yes, what lens on the M50? 35 millimeter? No, right now I'm using a 12 millimeter uh, F T T 2.2 cine lens from Rokinon. So Rokinon, uh, 12 millimeter T 2.2. Jason says, guys, don't fight. Just send me a Mevo and let's put it to rest. <laughs> Jason, uh, just really wants, he's a create live uh, member and we have giveaways for our members and he was really vying for that Mevo. Uh, okay, so Tom wants to know what your thoughts are on the GFX 100 beast that's about to come out. Haven't even heard of it yet. <laughs> okay then, well so, there you go. I would have to look into it before I can give any kind of opinion. Uh, do you use an HDMI input for the M50 or a USB transfer and software to bring it in? So I actually, okay, so let me show you what the, let me show you what the M50 looks like by itself if I can. I think, oh. Oh, hold on before you do that. 
Thank you. Welcome, welcome. We're so happy that you're here. Um, what's your real name, if you don't mind sharing? Epic Cardboard, is that what I read? It is, Epic Cardboard Props. That sounds awesome. So this is the Canon M50 Ooh. through USB. Wow. And, I, and I'm actually going through USB 3.0. All right, so that's what it looks like. We but can't so, dance to that. So what I did was I took the USB, I ran that in to, to shut off the auto shut off, get rid of all the menu options and still have it use autofocus and all that. And then I ran it out to an HDMI capture card and that's where I'm getting it like this. So it's more smooth. So I had to do that. Jeff, uh, see who is here. He's running his directly into um, his computer via uh, USB 2.0 and he's not having that issue that I'm having. So I don't know if it's the cable that I'm using. I'm not sure I'd have to do some research uh, to find that out, but Right now, um, this is how it looks, and I'm like I said, I'm going out USB uh, through an app called Sparko Sparko Camera, and that de that shuts off all the stuff that you need shut off in order to use it as a streaming camera, and yeah. So Mike, yeah, that's the problem. So get, run it into um, where's the uh, one of these? Ah yes. Oh, and we have a video about this. Let me grab that link for so you So this is a hundred and some odd dollar uh, capture card, the Cam Link, um, and you can use this, run it, this into USB 3.0, and that will work, because this is a capture card, um, and then you'll be good. Yeah, this is the Elgato Cam Link. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. Uh, if you search DSLR on our YouTube channel, you will find a link to that finally just found it was he on youtube or facebook who asked that huh never mind the cam link video there you go i think it was mike it was mike i think so all right there you go i posted the link uh to the thing that he was just talking about so you can go check that out in more detail uh oh Hold on. There we go. Ah, it keeps getting pushed down. Raphael. Awesome. I will do my best to remember that. I'm not always perfect. Raphael. Epic cardboard. Got it. Epic cardboard. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, hold on. Um, Jeff also got an AC adapter. Not sure which one you'd recommend for the M50. So the one that I'm using um, is, uh, I can't remember, but it's USB. So I can actually charge with just like a regular USB cable. Uh, I really wish that this had the features that would allow me to use it as our IRL camera because I would love to use that to be able to have a zoom lens on it and stuff. But because of the not clean HDMI and all that stuff, I can't do that and the fact that it shuts off. But um, I will, when I do the video that I'm going to do, I will link to the battery that I'm using to keep it powered on all the time. I actually, w uh, last night when I was down here messing around, uh, actually it was the day before, it was Saturday. Um, I turned this on and I went upstairs and I did a bunch of stuff and I came back downstairs and it was still streaming. So the, so it's the auto shut off and go to the stream on, on YouTube. Uh, yeah, it's fine on Facebook. It's down on YouTube. It's yellow on YouTube. Oh, there we are. We're back. That was weird. Yeah, that was weird. It went yellow for a minute. No, nope, it was fine not, on Facebook. Not Serenity. Serenity's still good. <laughs> Everybody's yeah. like, blame Serenity. We need a hashtag, blame Serenity. No, we're not blaming Serenity. Oh, I'm sorry. That is mean. <laughs> Serenity did nothing. You know what I think we need right now? Yeah. I think we need check-in time. So you guys, tell us where you're watching from. What country, city, state are you watching from? We would love to see the internationality of uh, this community. And while they're typing that, give us some music. No, Serenity what? is not the streaming PC. Or dancing. The streaming PC is the Alienware right now. So when I stream to Mixer, Serenity is the streaming machine. And when we're doing IRL, Serenity is the stream machine. But right now, it's the Alienware.
So. If you guys want dancing in your own streams, you can get the 30-day free trial from Epidemic Sound. Use the QR code, uh, or on Facebook, you can just type music, and we'll send you the link directly to your messenger inbox. Or if you're on YouTube, you can just click the link in the description. Super easy. All, All right, right. we've got Navi from Melbourne, Mike from Colorado Springs, Devante from Columbus, Ohio, Andy Dawson, Serenity. Uh oh shoot. Are you a drummer? Wait, uh, what? what I'm, happened? A, I'm a musician. I'm not I I I, I can shoot drum. What? I'm uh Epic Cardboard which was Hold on, you're wait, not in the right spot. Wait, what? Kevin Tropa to Calgary, <laughs> Genealogy TV, North Carolina. Uh Brother Scott, Wichita Falls, Susan, outside of Boston, Jeff, Longview, Texas. Oh, there you uh, are. NLTMW near Niagara That's Falls, Mike. Rudy, Belgium. Uh, Epic London, Andy Bristol, P Palu, Ghana. Oh, and Sean is in Ontario, Canada. Pro Business is in Virginia. Mike Short, Kathleen Farallon, New Jersey. Uh, Glinda is in Huntington Beach, California. And uh, we've got Gio in Los Angeles, California. Tom, I was just saying one of these, these guys are the best in the business. Uh, also, I'm in currently in Tel Aviv, Israel. Nice. nice. Hey, and that's where you. the live view is from. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much for the compliment, too. Uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Timo. And Jason says, I'm Irish. Potato. Hashtag potato. Nice. I love potatoes, man. <laughs> I love potatoes. Gospel is in the UK. The feel button is cooking lunch in the Oregon Cascades. Nice. Now that's a good feel button. Nice. Uh, Zach is in North Carolina watching an iPad. And of course, on Facebook, Elliot, Washington, D.C. Uh, and Jason, the one time I ask a legit question. <laughs> oh, the stream goes down because I just put his, his question. Oh, did you? Oh. I'll come uh, back San to Diego it. from Ray, Queens, New York, Stuart. Uh, Kenna's in Phoenix, and Samuel is in Queens. Woo! So now, what was the question? I don't, I can't get to it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rudy, I'm the oh, same yeah. way. It's really weird, because now I'm listening to, to uh, yes. uh, Epidemic on, uh, like, creating playlists. Gang, what are your thoughts on the Mevo? I don't have the budget for your schemey, your schmexy, schmexy cameras schmexy. yet, but I need something I can travel and do live interviews with. I mean, what's your bu what's your budget? Because yeah, that's for what that we same start with. for that same budget, you can get like the Canon M50 is literally j about a hundred dollars more than the well, but then you got the software and stuff. It, you're, just let us know your budget. You're in the group, so post a forum post and ask this yeah. question in the forums. And Let's let dig us into respond. that in a more detailed way, which we can do when you are a Create Live member, because we can spend that time talking to you and not just give you general concepts uh, right. and general advice. So if you want to join, you can type "Let Me In" in Facebook, or you can head on over to CreateLive.com. C R E eight. Join the Create Live, Live community. We would love to have you. It's a lot of fun would. over there. So much fun. And we're just at the beginning. We've got some deals we're working out with, with vendors. We've got some other uh, YouTubers coming over there that are going to offer their expertise as far as live streaming and That's stuff. That's really cool it's announcements coming up. It's about to get up. crazy. So you want to yes. get in now. So on Facebook, let me in or go to createlive.com with an eight like that. Sign up. <laughs> Become a member. Did you ever find Jason's comment? His you question? just answered it. Oh, that was his? <laughs> wow. By the way, total callback from Jason uh, earlier. Bugbear. Synonyms. Pet hate. Hate. Bane. Which is like pet peeve, irritant. probably. Oh, I'm like, why would you hate pets? Like pet peeve or pet hate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for that detailed <laughs> explanation of what a bugbear is. Jason says, I'm a photographer, so I already have expensive cameras, but none of them are on your list, so I don't have any mirrorless interchangeables on that list. Um, you don't have any mirrorless? Yeah, that's because some of the mirrorless I didn't realize could work. So that, that software might actually work. It's working with a lot of the Canon cameras. So go, go <laughs> post in the forums and let's figure it out. Let's see if one of your cameras that you already have, if we can make it work. We'll, we'll do some research on it. So go post that now, right now. I like everyone. Put down your potatoes <laughs> and get out of your bugabear mood bugabear and go mood. post it. 
<laughs> like how everybody's like, why would we have pet hate? Uh, please, I want to come around and learn more from you. Well, then come on. Come join, as Jeff sa C says. Join the community. It is awesome and worth the coin. Thank you so much for saying that, Jeff. But yes, we would love to see you there, Pulu. I, I hope I'm saying that right. Pulu. Uh, my definition was shorter. Yes, Andy. It <laughs> certainly was. All right. So... Any other questions about music? Since what's, that's what today was supposed to be about. I love how we always go off topic. Go post in the community. We'll figure it out. We'll make one of them work. Dude, Jason, are you not listening to him? Post in the community right so now. we can have conversations around it. Damn it. <laughs> Jason knows we love him already. Um, we loved him before he even came into the community. Jeff says, I've got the new Canon EOS OR. We'll test on the software and post it in the community. Thank you, Jeff. There you somebody go. actually, there was somebody I know that's actually is using the ESO, ES, EOS R2 stream. So I think it works. I think it might actually work naturally right out of the HDMI, uh, the way that I understood the way they were using it. So I think that works right out of the gate. Um, I'm a professional photographer and have several Canon cameras, but the problem with the DSLRs for live streaming is they overheat when shooting video too long. They don't, though, Genealogy, because you don't have to record. They're just staying on. So that is not going to happen for live streaming because you're not doing any processing in the camera whatsoever. It's right. just sitting here idle. Um, it, so it's not, you don't have to record at the same time you're streaming uh, <laughs> if that's what you're thinking. So DSLRs are actually great streaming cameras if they work um, because, you, because of the interchangeable lenses and that beautiful look that you can get out of using lenses and stuff. I so. mean, it even makes his white glasses pop. Well, so does this one. I know. I'm just, I'm just. So much stuff. so that people say, brush your teeth. <laughs> like my teeth aren't as white as my glasses. Yeah. <laughs> I heard you, but I heard, don't you love the, the live stream delay? Yeah. Billion years. <laughs> That's a quite a delay. <laughs> yes. The dashboard has changed. This is a create live thing, but we. Uh, Inside joke. You guys. No, no. I want to show them. Ignore. Wanna, you show, show them. Plug this in. Show them what we're talking about. Is it plugged in over there though? This, why don't you just show them from over here? Uh, we actually created this dashboard for our Create Live members uh, because uh, we are always focused on helping people find access to all of the important information without having to go search for it, right? And so uh, we were looking at like, how can we get people to all of the different features? Because the Create Live community actually has just a crap load of stuff that will help you become a better streamer, training, coaching, weekly calls, implementation training, which I'm calling like action plans um, to help you actually take action. You've got the community discussions itself. Uh, are they seeing this? Where is that coming from? <laughs> I don't know. Where is that coming from? Uh, and then like exclusive discounts, there's a marketplace to be able to take, um, to buy and sell gear and all of this stuff. Anyway, so I, maybe we can't show, I don't know. That's I don't weird. know what happened to that, like where that browser is getting picked up. That browser up isn't in, in existence. So, <laughs> well, maybe we can't show you, but it's no, really we, cool. We still can. It's really Here, cool. Plug yours in. Okay. I guess I'll plug mine in. You can make sure it's plugged in on the other end. It is already. Oh, are you That's sure? That's why I put this in here. Oh, okay. So the dashboard that he was talking about. Hold on. Hold on. Don't, don't. I'm not. You know, it always goes to my dis desktop and then you're always like, Yep, you guys do not want to see her desktop. You will be scarred for life. <laughs> there we go. Bam. So we broke it up. Like this is where you access all of the training, right? And then there's where you access all of the community discussions. You, you connect with people, you collaborate, uh, the group coaching calls, the replays, things like that, uh, the calendar and upcoming content that we've got. And then we keep you updated on important topics, the marketplace to buy and sell gear, uh, support, manage account, right? So like often when you sign up for things, you're like, I don't know where to go to find these things. Um, and so we broke it down. Everybody's been raving about this new dashboard. Thank you, Paul Dixon. Anyway, I had to take a rant because I'm so excited about it because That's not I a rant. love, not a rant, a uh, side note, uh, side, I don't know. Yeah. I was just so excited about it because I love creating things that make it easy for people. 
Uh, oh, okay. Yes, and um, that that the, all yes. the songs that you hear on our stream come from Epidemic Sound. So yes. everything with the with the vocals and all that stuff is all Epidemic Sound. So we wouldn't use something and then send you somewhere else. Yeah, you know that that's not us, how we are, right? <laughs> you use what we tell you. Oh no, the creaky blinder. <laughs> Had to restart OBS more than ten times on a two-hour stream. Ooh. Ooh. That's probably to do with, so that's why we use vMix. vMix is the, the most consistent software I've found. However, lately I've been delving in more to OBS and I'm starting to like it, but it's because I have a, a very maxed out computer. The problem is if you're, if you're using, OB, I don't, you, maybe you're using it on a Mac. If you're using it on a Mac, that's even worse. So let me know if you're using it on a Mac. But if you're using it on a PC and you're game streaming and you're streaming and playing your game on the same machine, that is the best way to kill your machine because it can't handle all that processing power. I mean, you gotta have a really, really beast of a machine if you're gonna be doing 1080 streaming uh, and streaming your game on the same computer. So. Um, that's why I have three computers that I use for my production. This production, um, we're using two PCs, but for most cases, I use when I'm IRLing, we're going to be using three PCs uh, just so oh, use a that commentary channel. Do a commentary channel. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it might just be that you don't have a, a very beefy, powerful, yeah. uh, powerful enough PC because, like I said, if you're streaming. Um, at the same time and you're bringing in multiple multiple sources I don't know what kind of capture cards and stuff you're using. I mean, there's a lot of variables that can cause the machine to um, Be overloaded and then that's gonna kill OBS. That's gonna kill your stream. We've seen that happen a lot. Yeah um, Love vMix <laughs> So we definitely have created a vMix community. Yes, we have <laughs> Oh, PC envy. Oh. That's all right, Creaky. You'll it's, get there. You know what? You take it one step at a time. Yep. That one is what we are all about. Just making sure you get to where you're going. But, you know, sometimes, you know, that's one of the questions I answered in my interview today is like, oh, sh do I need to like go all out all, all right now? And no, you don't need to like change everything. You, look at, at how long at it took the, us right at the same time. Look at how long it took us to build our studio. Like we had one PC, then we got another piece. I mean, it's just like been a yeah. a, a, a constantly building thing. I wear glasses. Would that help? <laughs> hurt? Uh, Is that a joke? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, I don't think the glasses are gonna. <laughs> I try putting in contacts and see if it helps. I mean, you never know. You never know. Try white glasses. They work for me. <laughs> Oh, geez. This is one thing. It's, uh, I got a comment the other day on a video that guy, a guy said, it's hard to take you seriously. It's hard to take anyone who wears white glasses seriously. Unsubscribe. What? I'm like. Why? Because of my glasses. Wow. Like, it's hard to take a guy with white glasses seriously. That is so funny. People are so funny online. Mm -hmm. You got to learn to just roll with it like you're never going to please everybody some people have whacked up ideas of what is credible and not so you just just roll with it just keep moving mm -hmm. is it time for a dance party yet If you want a dance party or you just want actually some cool music, maybe you don't want to dance, uh, but you want cool music in your videos and your live videos, make sure that you go get the 30 day free trial. David worked hard to put this together for you because we get asked this question so often. It's like, what do you do? How do you get it? What's the music that we use? It's all from Epidemic Sound and we love, love, love. You remember how that's spelled? L-O-V-E, L-O-V-E, L-O-V-E. No, it's love, love, love. Epidemic sound. We love their selection. We love the, the whole process of using them, everything. Um, so 
<laughs> we appreciate you being here today. If you haven't uh, typed music in the Facebook comments, then go ahead and do that now to get the link uh, sent to you via Facebook Messenger. Uh, or if you're on YouTube, the link is just right there in the description on this video. So you are good to go there. Uh, yes. That's a whole other video. I've done a video on my personal channel. I need to like probably move I like them. over. I like negative comments. He I like to go in and with them. Yeah, I love we'll to mess a, with them. We'll do a whole video on that. Uh, don't you worry. And yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us yes, today. Thank you. We appreciate it. Let's show you that nice Canon M50 one more time that shakes when we move the desk. <laughs> We'll that. It's an no. earthquake. Ah. Abby, Abby. Oh, no. Abby, Abby, Abby. <laughs> She's like, you people are freaking weird. Uh, last week you hooked up your phone as a vMix input. Okay. How did you do that? Like this? Watch. Okay, see? So take this. Pull this out. Hit my, put the HDMI cable right in here. Open up my phone like so. And then switch to it like that. And uh, there you go. There's my phone. So, what do you think about that? Pretty cool, huh? I could show them yesterday's uh, hike on the ocean. Uh, I'm actually going just the or you could just USB three to HDMI, and then HDMI. Now, the reason I'm using the Roland right now is because I've got four in four HDMI inputs in the Roland. So I'm getting four extra HDMI inputs and then I'm sending the HDMI out from that into one capture card. So I've got four cameras going into one capture card and then I've got all the other cameras. So we've got this camera, which is the, the Roland and I can switch between up to four cameras. I've only got two in there now. Then we have the overhead camera and the overhead camera I control with my Xbox controller. So I can move it in and out, <laughs> zoom it or whatever. There you go, boom, boom, that's the desk. And then we've got, that's not, no camera yet, that's the browser. Then we've got our little pip, pip. and then nothing. I, I still got other cameras that I haven't set up yet, so that's pretty much. <laughs> now you're just showing off. I struggle to talk and watch the sun, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Creaky, you're cracking me up today. Um, you, yeah, you could you go. go. You could go HDMI out to phone cam link, Andy. You could do that, yes. That's one way to do it. And bam, I think we have all the questions answered. Are you in a hurry? No. I, I can tell, just... I can always tell when she's ready to go. I was just trying to not drag it on. Dragging it on. You know I how I am. I want to take care of you. Oh, I know how you are. You know how I am. If you're new around here, those of you who are new around here, I wrap things up quickly. I'm like, all right, we're moving on. We're done. We're going to wrap this up. And we're then he drags it, it on for another 20 minutes. It's okay. I mean, we love hanging out with you regardless. I just like to have a concise video, but that's my personal preference. Well, Mike <laughs> said we was high class. Well, that was just a lie. Oh, I kind of thought you were creaky. I was thinking, where did you come from? Creaky, like, you've been here before. Has he? Yes, he's been here before. He has? Yes. He was Are you here. Sure? Yes, he was here one other time. Yes. Well, one other time. That's still new. I it, mean, it could it's be. not his like new doesn't have to mean his first time. Uh, the Roland is the VR4 HD. Now, for those <laughs> of you on Macs, Mac computers, these Rolands would be great for you guys because it processes the cameras in here, and that way you're not trying to use all these different resources in in uh, your streaming software on a Mac because Macs just aren't great for streaming. So. I haven't even subscribed yet, but I saw the white glasses and that was it. Nice. He said, no, that was my evil twin. Okay. So he wasn't here. I swear he was before. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mike. <laughs> Something like that, right? GTFO. Yeah. It's not Tuesday, Andy. Oh. Oh, my goodness. But it still could be taco time. <laughs> um, I would love to see a video or a review on how to connect multiple cameras. I am filling all my ports on my laptop. Nice. Well, okay, so for those of you that want to do that, it's going to cost you. Uh -oh. It's going to cost money because the only way to bring in multiple cameras like that and not use CPU power is from external devices like this. This uh, VR 4HD is like a $2,500 piece of equipment. Now, we didn't buy it. Um, DVE store sent us this, and I did a review on it. And for the review and uh, some other things that we did with them, 
they were kind enough to just let me keep it. So that's really cool. Uh, then there's another big dog in here that's the same kind of thing, but that's what you have to do when you're on a Mac um, because of the processing power in the, in the Macs is very limited because everything runs on the CPU where on a PC I can, I can split the load between PC or CPU and GPU and that way it balances it and I don't kill my machine or kill my stream in the case of Creaky Binder. Blinder. <laughs> So. Binder. Uh, Cosmic, if you're on a Mac, uh, we, I, I think you're referring to like what to use, but um, I, I just sent, I just put a link to our Ecamm training. It's a completely free uh, tutorial series, so that's what we would recommend for you on a Mac. Um, uh, yeah, seriously, Creaky, like you don't want to be resetting your OBS, uh, any software, uh, while you're streaming. You want things to go smoothly. 99% of the time. I mean, let's face it. Everything is going to fail at some point. Everything you... is going to fail. It's not It's not a matter of mm -hmm. if, it's a matter of when. But you definitely want some consistency there. Uh, Elliot, how do you wipe the lower thirds from chat? How do we wipe them in? Because they're going out. Oh, just That's a just vMix the... animation. Yeah. Just an anime. Uh, uh, and vMix, any kind of your... Uh, overlays, you can add whatever, whatever uh, thing you want, whatever animation you want. Uh, speaking of which, VMix tutorial series, yes, that is in our Create Live community where mm -hmm. we offer training. So step-by-step -step training on both technical things like that and strategic things like growing your audience. Uh, so that's at createlive.com. That was your cue. Sometimes he doesn't pay any attention to me. And if I reach over here, he'll just bite my finger again or uh -huh. fly a drone into it. We can it. talk about know. paying attention to someone. <laughs> Half the time I'm like, what'd you say? I wasn't paying any attention. <laughs> yes, white glasses can indeed fail and fail often. <laughs> but fail fast so that you can move on. Um, Excuse me. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I, oh, yeah. Looks like you got them all. Did I get them all? Yeah. My audience loves me and why wouldn't they? <laughs> exactly. I mean, I'm thinking the same thing after meeting you today. <laughs> um, hey gang, I know I could ask this in the community, but thought I might be <laughs> like, live. You guys offer coaching on a more one-to-one -one basis. Yes. Say if I wanted to book you guys for an hour to get your help. Yes. Yeah. So we do one-on-one -on -one consults, either like on an hourly basis or uh, on a regular consistent basis. If you just want strategic, like us to tell you exactly what to do every week. Uh, the only thing the is not to, you know, I'm not saying anything, but it's, it, we, we charge quite a bit because we don't like to do that too much because, uh, when we were charging low, less, we were getting booked with that all the time and, and we're doing too many of them. So we kept raising the prices until we didn't get very many people. <laughs> uh. So so we can offer better, better, um, oh, Corona time. Bye, later, Genealogy. <laughs> so we Bye. can offer better service for less people, if that makes any sense, so. Right. Um, it's so funny because it's a holiday here in the States and uh, David and I didn't even realize this, but, uh, People at the beginning were like, uh, are we the only ones without the things to do <laughs> on, on Memorial Day? It's, oh, today's Memorial Day? Yeah. Happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. Sorry. We, like, we're not holiday people. We kind of forget sometimes. You don't have to calm down, Creaky. You're fine. Uh, Mimo Live. The thing is, Cosmic, it doesn't really matter on a Mac what you use. It's just not efficient. The, the most efficient software you're going to find on a Mac is Ecamm. And that's the one I linked you to. Uh, yeah, that's the one she sent a link to. That is the most efficient on a, on a Mac because it's an actual app and they get access to encoding more so than the others. But, you know, Mimo Live, uh, Wirecast, OBS, um, you know, none of those are great for Mac just because they're, they're not optimized. And as soon as you start adding... Uh, multiple sources, you'll start to see just how inefficient they really are. Oh, no, I didn't see this. <laughs> oh, your power went out. That's always fun. Yeah, things happen. Yep. You can't, it's live. That's just part of the, the charm. Yep. It's, it's part of the charm for the audience too, though. You know, they love it when things go wrong. Not that they're aiming for you to fail, but you know, it happens. So it does. It happens. It does. All right. Whoa. 
Let's wrap this up. Come on. We help these people now. Let's get, get <laughs> let's GTFO. Come on. Oh, they no. got it. They got it covered. Bye, you guys. Thanks so much for showing up. We'll see you next time. Wait, wait. <laughs> well, that was rude. Thank oh, I'm you. sorry. Did I fade to black? <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I hope this has been super helpful. Uh, lots of other things other than music, but uh, I hope it was helpful to learn about music and some of the... the um, the rules around that. Uh, and I hope that you enjoy your epidemic music, um, epidemic sound music selection. Uh, we, we have, we certainly have, and you guys have enjoyed it on our streams and our videos. So definitely go check that out. Um, integrate music into your streams. It's not only something that you can do, it's something that you should do in different ways. We do it in a one way. You could do it in a different way just creates a different ambiance, a different feel, uh, and a little bit of fun for your audience. Yes, make it fun. Make it fun and they'll come back again and again and again. Well, if it's again boring and, again and, again. and you're just like, and we're gonna look at this today uh, because hey, that's, how I talk. that's Why what everybody says I should do. Blah, 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 blah. People are not gonna come back. So give them a reason to come back. Play some good music. Like. Oh, people need music for intros and outros. No, or is he talking no, he's about saying us we need to run our outro. That's what he was saying. Uh